Greetings, I'm Lee and I'm just bringing you my first impressions and my first game uh, in which I was using the crossbow which is newly unlockable in the Aftermath expansion for Battlefield 3. Now, the crossbow itself, it's not actually um, like a pre-made weapon. If you look very carefully, it's actually like scavenged uh, from parts of a, a battered like 416. Uh, a cobra sight and then some other bits and pieces all bolted together to make it. Uh, in game, the weapon, as you'll just see there, just seems to be a one shot kill from any sort of distance. Uh, I'm not too sure about where exactly you need to hit people. From my experience, it seems to be like anywhere from the waist up, which includes the, the arms and even the hands. But uh, at times, I swear I've shot people with a bolt up the ass, and uh, that seems to drop them just as good. Um, I can easily see this weapon being banned by many, many butter admins, simply because of the fact it can kill in one shot. Even though, as you'll see, the, uh, the reload time between each shot is horrendously long. But like there, I still managed to kill the guy. Um, I'm pretty surprised at that, but... Hey, I'll take it. I will say, however, that this weapon is extremely fun to use. Um, I don't know if you can actually alter the sight on it, but the Cobra is extremely comfortable to use on it anyway. Uh, there's also a scoped version, which I haven't unlocked yet. Uh, which I think is a times 4 an ACOG style kind of thing. <laughs> that guy actually uh, was using a crossbow as well. I think he took it from my body because, you know, I didn't have a perfect run with this thing. Wow. Uh, same guy again. Uh, that guy as well, what's his name? Draxir. Uh, yeah, he's the, the owner of this server. That will come apparent later on. So, uh, yeah, I, I really don't know anything else about the crossbows of ammo types, the balanced, high explosive and the scan. Uh, like I said, I, I literally just unlocked this thing and I, I just wanted to try it out in the most, like, unusable uh, situation which would be close quarters. And I, as you'll notice, I, I just managed to do pretty well with it, running around uh, using it as a primary. And then as soon as I'd fire a shot, I'd uh, press Y to switch back to my primary. So, yeah, I mean, it's pretty accurate. I, I believe it's got a much higher bullet drop, or in this case, bolt drop, than other weapons. Though I'm not too sure since, of course, this is just a close quarters map. I'll have to try it on some other maps like Rush uh, style ones where you got longer sight lines and try and just snipe people and see how it goes. Uh, I don't think you can retrieve bolts as well from bodies or if they miss, I don't think they stick in the walls or anything like that. So the only way you're going to get them back is once again like if somebody drops ammo pack from a, a support. That was crazy. I, I swear I killed the guy by shooting his backpack. So yeah, that's just my initial thoughts on this thing. I will say the FMF pack itself is really fun as well. The maps are great. The scavenger mode is interesting. Uh, it's quite fun. Uh, so yeah, I'll just let the rest of this video play out with the rather expected ending. I wonder if you can guess what it is. Nemesis, jeez. And yeah, I will see you next time, hopefully with another video. Till then, I'm signing off.